Hello. Hi. Welcome to this week's video, live from a field where we talk about everything drone. Drone, 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 drone. So first of all, we hope you can hear us. Secondly, we hope you can see us. We're crouching down. Reason being, we're stood right next to the tripod. We've already, it's already blown over once. It's a very windy day. And it, yes, it is the brand new camera and I'm hoping it's working. If you're watching this, it still works. If it doesn't, then I'm really cross. And you'd be fortunate that you can't see it and just feel sorry for me. So we're going to cut and we're going to probably have to film individually here because the wind's too heavy, but we're going to talk to you everything about drones. For those of you wondering, yes, Molly is here today. We're outdoors and she's in the field. So we've got to switch to filming each other on this thing. It's easier just because of the wind. So hopefully you can hear us. We've got microphones, we've got uh, wind reflectors on the microphones. So hopefully you can hear it fine. We'll soon find out. So first of all, we're gonna to talk to you about the drone. Now this is our drone in a little package. It's really neat. It fits inside the bag. I'll show you that in a second. Um, but the drone, everything we need is in here. It's a nice little compact size. Almost you could say it's a man bag. Uh, it's not a man bag, or a woman bag. But everything's contained inside here. So I'm gonna open it up and show you what's inside. This is part of the optional extras, which we'll talk about later in the video. So in this video, we're going to talk to you about drones. We're going to explain about the, our drone, a review of it, which is a DJI Mavic Air, um, about the regulations that were introduced that have put a lot of people off having a drone and what, what it means and how you can go around, uh, go about overcoming that, taking your test, etc. And also to show you how they work. They're very popular for YouTubers, uh, obviously for getting some great footage from things you can't see normally and getting some aerial footage always gives you a good, great um, feature. In your videos. But this is a Mavic Air. Um, it's been superseded by the Mavic Air 2, Mavic Air 2S I think now as well. Um, so it's a slightly older drone but it still works really well. It's 4K uh, video footage and it's really really compact as you can see. Obviously it folds out. The reason I went for this one is because it's really small and neat. You can obviously put it into your backpack in that little pack there. You can fold it up. You can actually put it in your pocket. Um, it comes with another pack, another, another package with it as part of the pack I've got which allows you to put it into your pocket like a, just big enough to put the drone inside. One thing that's not fitted at the moment is the battery, which I won't show you underneath because it's got my registration code on it. Um, but the battery slots in underneath the drone. And I've got three as part of the, the Fly More package, which we'll talk about later in the video. So really simple to set it up. All you do is you literally fold out the arms, pull the legs out, sorry. Fold them out. And then you just literally flick those down like that. And then you take your camera protector off. And there's the camera on the front and that's it fit the battery and the drone is ready to fly it takes seconds to set up it's really really neat and compact the other thing you need with your drone is your mobile phone it's an app which controls the drone when it's up in the air so it's quite a windy day today uh, in fact it's a very windy day today you can probably tell from our from our footage so we're going to see and we've come to Beeston Castle in Cheshire which Caroline will talk about in a second a bit more and behind us is Peckerton Castle as well so hoping to give you some aerial footage of the uh, what the castles look like but it's very windy so we're going to show you the stabilization on the drone too and also some of the features it can do like tracking we're going to attempt to track Molly with it as well so I'm going to put the batteries in we'll get it set up and get it flying in the air I have I have a dog assistant here go, go on chase that stick thanks so inside the backpack you can see literally this is the pack it sits on top where the drone lives inside so it's nice and compact fits in your backpack nice and easy to take out for the day so this is the pack the inside it i'll show you what's inside so if we can zoom down show me down here so inside this is where the drone sits when it's folded up you've got the controller in here which is um part of the pack so you can attach your phone to this as well which i'll do in a second then under here you've got the three batteries as well so as part of the fly more pack i've got three batteries um, so it gives you plenty of flight time as well uh, the flight time on this is about 20 minutes roughly per battery so this is about an hour's worth of flight time so it's really handy to have extra batteries if you haven't got them which is why i went for the fly more kit so i'm going to connect it up and show you how it flies so that's the drone now with the battery pack on as well so the hopefully you can hear of this wind the battery's on the bottom of the drone now so it looks like that when the drone's battery's on it just clips in slots into place really simple like that ready for takeoff this is the controller for the drone. Just one neat feature, you can tap the power button and it shows you how much charge it's got on it, so you can see there. So, and then you just need to connect your phone to it. So 
Um, it comes with different connectors, different wired connectors to plug your phone into it. And it's got the antenna, so just to show you to set it up, it's really simple. You just unfold the drone, and then you literally just attach on this model, you just attach the uh, controller sticks like that, they just screw in, they're still underneath. And then what happens then is your phone just sits underneath in a kind of cradle. So I'm just going to do that. So that's now connected, that's what it looks like. You've got your phone for your screen viewing, for the, cam the drone's camera, and you've got your drone controller there as well. And there your antennae for when it's up in the air. So we'll now connect it up and see what it looks like flying. Just to show you some of the functions on here, you've got a sport button, which makes the drone go really fast. You've got function button, power button for this controller. You've also got return to home button, really good feature. This drone is fitted and you pay a little bit more for them, the DJI drones, but you've, this has got return to home feature built into it. So if you only have panic, you just press that button and the drone will come back to wherever it took off from. Um, it's got a record button for the camera, a photo button for the, for the, sorry, that's for the camera, that's for recording video. And you can also scroll that wheel underneath, which will allow you to change the angle of the uh, camera which is really useful too. So once your phone's connected to your DJI drone, literally you can tap the go fly button. It shows it's connected at the bottom. It also checks if there's any software updates before it takes off, which is really useful. One thing I'll have to do, I haven't used the drone for a while, so I'm gonna have to calibrate it. When you click on go, go fly, it automatically goes to the camera view. Um, but you can see there, it's got calibrate. You can see that on the screen. So I need to calibrate the drone now, which I'll do, which looks rather funny. The lady just said the drone, the, the home point's been updated, the GPS has picked up, so it'll come back to this point where it's sat on the ground now. Done. That was easy. Busy. So you can now see the view I've got. I'll overlay this on the footage so you can see there's Caroline filming me. There's Molly down there on the ground. Hi Molly. Um, so basically, I had to calibrate the drone, it's not been used, the calibration just basically sets up the, the gyro sensors on it, so it picks up its pitch and roll, etc. So when you've not used it for a while, shh. So when you've not used it for a while, um, you have to calibrate the drone usually. It only takes two seconds to do, as you can see, just by rotating it. So now it's ready to fly, but it is really windy, so we're not going really to sure if it's going to take off or not. So bottom left, it shows you the home position, it says it's ready to go on GPS, and it's ready to take off. The drone's got loads of functionality which is really simple to use, which I'll try and show footage of. But that's the takeoff button. You tap that and then the drone will fly. So we'll give that a go. Caroline's going to film the drone while I fly it. Oh heck. Ready? So I don't know if you can hear the drone above my thing. It's quite noisy, close up. But um, once it's up in the air you don't see it. So we're going to get the drone up now and see how high it goes. It's really simple to fly using the stick, so I'll take off and Caroline's going to try and film it. It's quite a dark day, so you can see the drone footage. I'm going to try and go a bit higher so you can see the castle with a bit more greenery. Can you see it still? Not on the camera. No. Bring your bow stick, Molly. So that castle in the distance, which one's that, Caroline? Which way are you looking? Uh, towards the castle behind me. The castle behind you is Peckforton Castle. Peckforton Castle. So okay. that is a, um, I'm going to say, working castle. So it's we'll come back to that. Caroline can give us a review. Okay, I've got a wind, wa a wind warning on the, on the drone because I've got up to 90 metres. The maximum capacity of a drone in the UK is 120 metres for normal use, unless you've got commercial use. So if I turn the drone round, using the right buttons, you can now see on the screen. Hi, yeah. Uh, the other castle, Caroline, is? Beeston Castle. Beeston Castle. So anybody knows Beeston Castle or has seen um, Bob Earnshaw's video, he's been there with Jenny. Um, check out their channel for more reviews on Beeston Castle. Um, again, the wind's really high, so I'm going to bring the drone down a little bit. It's saying it's really high, so it's struggling to, to hold its stability, but it actually looks pretty stable. I don't know if you can still hear it. Sounds just like about, an angry bee. Yeah, it's 100 metres up in the sky, so you can just about hear it. You can see it. Do you want to try and see it? I'll try and zoom see up. it. It's right above my head. You can zoom the camera if you twist the lens, the thing on the outside, but don't drop it. <laughs> no? I don't know. Okay, I'm going to bring the drone down a little bit now. I'm just going to try and see if it'll track Molly. Um, it's got some really cool features. You don't have to use the controller with it 
or your phone. You can actually use it with gesture control as well. I'm not going to do that today just because it's so windy, uh, but you can, you can throw the drone away, you can make signals to it and it'll fly away from you and record you, do loop the loops and all sorts. Well, not quite loop the loops, but Molly's bored as you can probably tell. Molly, don't be so impatient. I've enabled active track on the drone now, so I'm going to throw the stick for Molly and see if it's tracking her. So the drone's now tracking Molly wherever I throw the stick. And you can see it works really well. <laughs> I'm going to try it a bit lower to see if you can see her a bit closer up. One sec. So we've got active track on Molly again now. So the drone will now follow Molly. I'm not doing anything you can see from my controls. I'm going to throw the stick. Then the drone will follow Molly itself. The drone's doing that itself. I'm not touching anything. Good girl. Thank you. Bring me a stick. Okay, so Caroline's obsessed with me losing the drone. Appreciate it was a little bit expensive, um, but it, doesn't, it can't really get lost unless something takes it out from the sky. Um, like unfortunately happened to, to Ricky um, in uh, the hills on tour, his drone got hit by a bird, uh, but he did manage to retrieve it from the water and it still worked, so that was good. But yeah, you do have to be careful of birds and things and things around in the air, but generally the drone will come back to you. So I'm just gonna record the drone flying now across the field away from us. So you can see some drone footage and then I'm going to press the home button okay so as Caroline stops panicking one press there's a simple button home hold it down the drone is now returning to home itself you see it's turning around the drone is now coming back to us so you can see where we are on the path and the drone will land and I think it lands at half a meter off the ground so it's coming back and it's going to come back down itself might speed this footage up because it's taking its time it says it's got precision landing the correct landing position and it uses gps so it uses satellites like your satellite navigation to land so caroline's going to film this landing now really well i'm sure i'll move out the way this is all doing it itself I'm not touching anything So the drone's coming back in. And you can see it's returned to home safely from one button press. You happy now? It looks like a spaceship. There you go, done. Happy? Yeah. So the drone has now landed itself back safely. We can put it back in its box. So the drone's folded down again now, tiny compact size, taking the battery out, the batteries say, I'll show you how, how they charge, it's basically a full charging system for them, again it's part of the, the Flymore pack. That's one of the main reasons I bought it was for the extra batteries, it wasn't for the accessories that came with it, it was for the extra batteries because they're really quite expensive on their own. Um, so you get one with the drone as standard, but you get three in the Flymore pack, so definitely worth getting. Also in each battery pack you can press the button, it'll flash and show you the charge it's got left on it. So you can see on that one, it's got two bars left, that's one I've been using to fly with. So the batteries, when you charge them, I'll put some footage so you can see what it looks like. They go into a charging station and they charge. And they, it's got an intelligent charger, so it works out which battery has got the most charge to give you the, the fastest flight time. So it'll charge the most full battery first, and then it, it goes through a cycle. And it also checks the batteries to make sure that they're safe to charge. It's a very clever system. That's one of the reasons why I bought it, because these are LiPo batteries. And you've seen, probably seen some horror stories of LiPo batteries catching fire and exploding, etc. So one of the things I wanted was a proper DJI charger, an intelligent charger, to make sure the batteries were cared for properly. They'll, they'll actually, when you charge them fully, after about a week, they'll discharge themselves to about 80%, and that's to keep the, the batteries in, in a safe condition. Um, so the battery, it does everything for you, you don't have to worry about it. That's one of the reasons, again, why I bought DJI, um, as a brand that's sort of well-known and well-made. This drone is over 250 grams, which is the limit for um, not having as many regulations in terms of your licensing, etc. But you can do your test online. It costs nine quid for your license, there's two parts to it. Do your test online, one part lasts for three years, the other part you have to renew every, every year, and that costs nine pounds at the moment. Um, so again, it's not expensive, it just takes a second to do to renew it online each year, once you've done your initial first test. Um, so there's nothing to worry about, do your test online, get your drone, fly it, Everything's tracked. The great thing with DJI, 
um, is everything's tracked on the flight path. So if you're worried about you flying in the wrong area, it'll bring up a warning and it'll say on the screen, you know, not safe to fly, no, no fly zone, etc. So it'll tell you if where you're flying, you're not allowed to fly. Here was perfectly fine. There's clearly no flight pass or anything like that. So you don't have to worry. A lot of it's done for you. And if you ever panic, you just press the home button as Caroline witnessed. Okay, so Caroline's going to tell us now about the castles. Yes, kind of interesting. here I am in a field in Cheshire. Behind us we have the rather fetching Beeston Castle, which is a ruined castle owned by English Heritage or managed by English Heritage. Um, so you can visit if you're a member or you can just pay if you want to go in. It's just a short walk up to the castle ruins. Um, it's not short, it's really steep. I don't remember it being that long. We've not been for a long time. No, but it is. It's very steep. Okay. Um, and so you can just sort of walk around the, the ruins. Great views um, from there across the uh, Cheshire countryside. So really recommend that one. That's up there. Uh, that's that one. Yep. Um, behind, um, over Can't the ridge it. there. It's behind there. Is Peckforton Castle, which is still um, in use as a full castle. <laughs> <laughs> It's What's not ruins. Um, there's a lot of weddings and events. Um, they've got offer a drive-in. They do afternoon teas. Um, it's a hotel. So, yeah, still very much in, in use, Peckford and Castle. So stay at Peckford and Castle if you're looking for a hotel. Visit Beeston Castle if you want a nice walk and a great view. Excellent. Thank you very much. You finished your walk now. Should you go back in the car? Time to go home. Good morning. Just to show you how small the drone actually is, you can see that's a can of Iron Brew, standard 330mm can in the boot of the car. That's the drone, without not folded out. I'll show you what it looks like folded out next to the can. But it really is small and compact, really neat. And that's the drone folded out, you can see there next to the can. So that's it completely folded out, ready to fly. It's amazing how something that size can actually fly up to 120 metres. Um, and, you know, we stand the wind as you just see in the footage, it's really, really clever. Just to point out, the DJI drone has a gimbal at the front there. It's a three-axis gimbal, so it's got stabilisation. So when it's flying up in the air with the wind, it stabilises itself. It's really clever. But for not much bigger than a can of Iron Brew, other brands are also available, um, it's really, really quite neat and compact. Quick pit stop on the way home. Where have we stopped? Oh, we're at Cheshire Ice Cream Farm, which is in Tatton Hall. And we've got ice cream wrapped up in newspaper, like fish and chips, like the olden days. But actually, it's ice cream. Um, ice cream farm, quick look round. You park up next to one of these things. You can go inside, you park up, scan the QR code, order your ice cream, they bring it to your car, van, whatever you want to go in. And you can see and sit next to this nice pretty lake thing while we uh, eat the ice cream. Have it in cones, or we got it in tubs because we're greedy and want to take them home. home. Yeah. Take it home, it's not too far from us. Um, there's a big ice cream farm, great um, for kids, loads of activities and things to do. Um, but if you don't want to go into that, or you've not got kids, or you just want to pop in for ice cream, drive through is a great option. Started up in lockdown, um, and yeah, they've just expanded it into this whole drive through thing, so good, good job. Excellent, let's go eat the ice cream before it melts. We uh, finished recording the video of the drone and realised we hadn't got any beer in the video, which is obviously very bad. Mm, and local ice cream, obviously, is just not enough of a localness. So we took the ice cream home, put it in the freezer, and we went back to the pub for a drink. Cheers. Cheers. Cheshire Cat from Wheatwood Brewery, obviously local, local to us. Hope you enjoyed this week's video. We asked lots of questions on the drones. We hope you found it useful. Next week we'll be travelling with motorhomes. Catch you next week. Bye. Next week we'll be away, hopefully, uh, for some more local beer from a different area rather than local beer from a local area, <laughs> wherever local to. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. How many more times can you fit local into one sentence? <laughs> we hope you enjoyed this week's video. Um, <laughs> Start again. I was picking crisps out my teeth. Oh.